Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, we will be going through operations on languages. So, in the last lecture, we had just stopped at the end. I thought to continue with the languages, but as the time timer has run out, I just stopped it there. Okay, so now let us go through operations on languages. So, there are totally many operations on languages, guys. So, now we will be going through few main operations which we'll, we will be using in our further classes. So, first thing is union. Let us assume that L1 is our first language and L2 is our second language. Guys, remember whenever you'll be finding these words, union, concatenation or anything with respect to something. So then just create two or more things and you just union them and write a small example. It will be more than enough, guys. Okay. So L1 and L2 are the two languages. Then L1 union L2 is a language containing all the strings of both the languages. So what is union, guys? So union is nothing but if you consider like this, union is everything, right? So that's what we'll be doing here. So L1 union L2 is W. So I hope everyone can read it. So L1 is equals to if you assume 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0 and L2 is 1, comma 0, 0, 1. So here we'll be writing 0 first, then 1, then 0, 1, then 1, 0. Now when you observe 1, it is already there. So you'll be avoiding it and then you'll be writing 0, 0, 1. So 0, 0, 1. So this will be our union of the given language. Fine. So even we can do concatenation. We have already discussed about concatenation of strings we have done. So similar to that concatenation is done for languages also. So L1 and L2 be two languages. Then L1, L2 is the language containing L1 followed by the string L2. Okay. So now let us go through the example. L1 is equals to A comma B comma AB comma C. Excuse me where L2 is equals to C comma D. Fine. So now the concatenation of L1, L2 is equals to concatenate these two. Fine. So we'll be getting AC, then add BC, ABC, CC. Fine. So now we are done till here. Then combine with the D. Now AD, BD, ABD and CD. So this is how the concatenation will be done. So if you have a small doubt that L with empty, sorry, a language with empty language, what will be the concatenation? So that results in the same language which you have given first. Fine. Okay. So now let us continue with the same concepts that we have gone through in the strings. It is nothing but clean closure, clean star closure or clean closure. What's the symbol guys? It is star. So that's the reason why I use the word star here. Clean star closure. It's fine. Okay. So here. There is no need of two languages. You can just manage it with a single language. So let L be a language over an alphabet sigma. Then clean closure of the language L is denoted by L star that we have already gone through. So it is nothing but all the combinations from zero to infinity, right? Remember clean closure will start from zero. It is nothing but zero or many. Fine. So just opposite to it is nothing but a positive closure. It starts from one to infinity. Fine. So this is nothing but the two things that you have just gone through. And now let us go through complement. What is complement guys? So if this is a set, okay. So if we are doing, this is a set A. So if you are doing complement of A, except the components or the elements of A, you'll be taking rest things, right? So that is nothing but a complement. So complement of L, let us assume it as L dash that is equals to all the combinations of sigma minus our own language. So it results in the new language that is nothing but the things which are not in our language. So that is nothing but the complement. Intersection. What is intersection? The common part. Right? So that is nothing but the intersection. Reversal. You need to learn this guys because it's really important. So reversal. So reversal is nothing but if a word, let us assume 1011 belongs to a language. Then reversal of this is nothing but you wrote like this, right? So write from that side. 1, 1, 0, 1. Fine. So this is nothing but our reversal. Fine. Okay. So there are there are small two examples which we'll be going through just in a minute, guys. Okay. So given, let us assume that, let us assume this as a sigma and find the clean closure of the alphabet. So clean closure is nothing but, remember, clean star closure, I have told you, KS. You can remember if you have any friend name with KS, you can just remember it okay so sigma star that is nothing but star means what zero or many so it starts with sigma with all the combinations that you can write fine so sigma of a b do the operation between union intersection and subtraction subtraction is nothing but difference okay 
we had gone through difference so basically difference is nothing but removing all these things guys so if this is the set only these things come under l1 minus l2 if it is l1 and l2 fine okay so it is nothing but the subtraction of intersection and writing the components or elements of l1 so these are the two things so union is nothing but you will be writing all the things intersection is nothing but you will be writing the common things here we are having commonly b and aa and l minus l2 is nothing but just do a small process we are just saying you a small trick so it is really simple so you have done already union right so you got b and aa so cancel b and aa in the list and write the result the left out things only in l1 don't cancel these two and don't write a comma b b comma triple a fine okay so now i hope everyone got a small idea so till now we have just gone through the introduction of uh, automata guys so in the next tutorial we will be going through the main concept that is finite automata thank you thanks for watching